what's up capricorn kings queens and everything in between i am austria of unbothered queen and today i will be channeling the collective of capricorn sun moon rising venus and mercury in regards to a general separated no contact message goodness for the second week of february through the second week of march Please keep in mind that the time frame is specifically for me and whenever you see this message, that is when you are meant to see it. It can be past, present, or future, okay? All right, y'all. So what we're going to do is get a bit of energy to see how you guys are feeling, how your person is feeling, as well as what's keeping you guys apart here. All right, thank you, Sphere, for clean, concise messages. Thank you. Okay. All right. It says courting. I was so thirsty to use these cards, y'all. I'ma just look, just keep it, keep it all the way funky with y'all. Let's see. Okay. All right, so it says divine union. That's what's keeping y'all apart is the divine union. Um, we got this period of development towards a romantic relationship is important. This time will help you both see if marriage is in the cards. And then we have divine union. Congratulations, it's time to celebrate. Both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest. Then we got quality time. Quality time means putting away the phone and clearing your brain of anything distracting so you can so you can to ensure that your partner is your number one focus. Then we got falling in love at the bottom here. Okay. So off the top, okay, I'm already getting that. You know, you guys haven't learned the lessons that you need to learn in order for you guys to come together. And that is automatically um, an issue that is keeping you guys apart. I feel like, you know, Capricorn, you may be wanting this person to actually put more effort in actually the dating aspect of y'all being together. And this person just kind of want to spend time with you. And you may just want to go, you know, you may want to go out on dates and shit. And this person isn't really, uh, wasn't really offering that. Or maybe this person worked a lot and they had issues, you know, with um, being able to give you quality time. Or maybe that was your energy, Capricorn. All right, let's see, Spirit. Give me a little bit more here. Thank you. All right, yeah, see what I'm saying? Hamster wool, surviving, day, daily hustle. So that, sh that was your energy, Capricorn. I don't know why I am surprised. We got nightlife, gamble, take a risk, Vegas. You could be in Vegas or you could work at nights or something. Some of you could strip. I don't know why I just heard that, but I did, so... Uh, spiritual path awakening this is definitely an energy of figuring out some of y'all are like doing something to get you guys to law school I just heard but this is definitely the energy of you guys realizing exactly what's worth you know what's worth it give me more here for Capricorn's per okay Capricorn's person. So we got insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. All right. So for some of you, you could have felt like this person was finding others to spend time with when they weren't dealing with you or shit. Maybe they were. Let's see. All right. We got magnetic, unexplained pull, can't resist. All right. So I don't, I'm getting an energy where this person just wanted to spend a lot of time with you. Yeah, unconditional, genuine, certain love. Yeah, I feel like this person really wanted to spend a lot of time with you. They could have been obsessed, you know? All right, so let's get a little bit more about what's keeping you guys apart, though. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing confess messages. Thank you. All right, so we got done. 
completion lesson learned. So like I said, y'all have not learned the lessons that you need to learn. Like a lot of infighting and shit, y'all can't be doing that. Like, yeah, this is the divine union, but y'all need to be able to come together and actually act maturely and discuss shit. We got toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people. So y'all be toxic together and that's why y'all are separated. Yep, closed in, trapped, frustrated. Y'all be in some, on some sort of roller coaster here. All right, let's see. Let's get a bit more. All right, y'all. Thank you, Sierra, for clearing concise messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus, and Mercury in regards to separating no contact message. Give me a few over here about the feelings for Capricorn. Give me more for the feelings of Capricorn here, Spirit. Thank you. All right, we got despair here, 32. Some of you, that's your age. So you're, you're very much sad without this person. Yeah, you want things to come back into union with the boat here. You want it to move into calmer waters with this person. You don't want things to be over. I feel like a lot of you could have said some things that you wish that you hadn't said. All right, so we have the um, bear in the reverse, and this is 15 comes to 6. So I feel like you didn't really put enough effort or you don't feel like you put enough effort in really protecting this union and helping it blossom and helping it grow. And that's something that I feel like a lot of you are dealing with now. You feel like you could have done more. You could have been a bit more nurturing to this person or to this relationship. All right, let's get a little bit more for your person's energy. Thank you, Spirit. So we have, it's like the birch or the brush and it's 11. So that is like twin flame energy here. Um, but this is also something that is difficult, you know, something that is hard um, here. Something that this person feels like it's a struggle. I feel like this person feels like they were basically like begging for your time. Oh, shit. We got adjudication in the reverse, and that's 30. It's like this person feels like maybe they didn't judge you or they they didn't try to make things difficult. If you're going, if you're doing something like legally, like going to legal, like um, law school or some shit or criminal justice school or something, this person felt, felt like they were on the back burner to this. Yeah, y'all. Court and courthouse. <laughs> courthouse and the reverse 23. These cards are not set up, Joe. And for this to be like this, this is something is legit has to do with like law. For some of you, you know, maybe like I said, this person could you guys could have been going to court with this person or um, some of you could have been like legally separated or some shit like this. And this person does not like none of that shit. Yeah, imprisonment. Maybe you got this person locked up. Or they felt like they were locked up because of their circumstance of wanting to spend time with you. But they couldn't because you were making it difficult or you were making it seem like they were begging to do this. Yeah, it's like you were creating obstacles in the relationship where it really shouldn't have been one. You know, it's like, you're lecturing me because I want to spend time with you. Like, how is that a bad thing is what I'm hearing. All right, let's see, y'all. Let's see. All right, 
All right, y'all. I think that was the mature woman. Oh, it's the main female. Okay. So it's the main female and the mature man. So that's definitely a pair. Okay. So it's almost at an energy where it's like one of you guys are on. It's like you guys were so close yet so far away of being on the same page. Yeah. This is the bridge and this is in the reverse. So it was like you guys were basically burning bridges. Like you talking nasty to each other. Really like making it a struggle to be around each other or to move um, together in union. Even though this was a divine connection. Yeah. making Creating obstacles here. 21. Some of you there were multiple people here. And someone had a choice between two people. All right, Spirit. Okay. Let's get... Thank you. For playing for safe messages. Goodness. Yeah. Give me more about what Capricorn felt about this relationship. So I feel like a conversation needs to be had here. Because obviously you guys are not on the same page and you can be. Um, especially if it's so little to like just like spend time and you're talking about you want to go on dates so it, it maybe just needs to be rectified like a, just a conversation baby all right so we got the star card here aquarius energy some of you could be dealing with an aquarius or this is just your energy of wanting to heal this relationship gemini cancer energy with the queen of cups you could have also felt like with this person, you could have felt like you were very um, needy and you didn't like how you felt here. I'm also getting that maybe you felt very reactive because of your frustration in the relationship. Um, and a lot of you could have been used to doing things by yourself. So that was also, um, it was like, it was difficult for you to come out of a place of you always doing things alone. Um, and also for some of you, maybe being a bit secretive, um, to having someone to share life with and you, you're realizing that maybe you didn't handle that shit as well as you could have. Like you weren't acting like you wanted a commitment. That's the energy I'm getting. All right. Give me more for their person spirit. We got the justice card this is so fucking crazy like it is something about the court system with this person maybe this person studies law. Like, y'all let me know in the fucking comments because i'm nosy as shit okay but this person does want to make things right they do want to get on the same page with you they do see you as their end all be all so you know what i mean like they do want to offer you know, they want to offer something, but for some of the, maybe they feel like their offer is too small, okay? Um, for some of you, you're dealing with someone that kind of wants you to come towards them first. Yeah, Seven of Swords. I feel like this person is ready to, you know, talk to you, though. You know, I feel like they, they you could be dealing with someone that is kind of overanalyzing a lot, though, here. But they do, they do think about all of the time spent here. They don't want to give that up, okay? But I feel like this person is trying to focus on other things to kind of keep their mind off of you. Give me more about what's keeping them apart. Let's All right, so we got the Five of Cups here in the reverse. We have the Will of Fortune in the reverse. Uh, Leo, Aquarius, 
Scorpio and Taurus. Then we got the Page of Wands here. Yeah, so I really feel like it's a it it, the, it was a lot of words said that weren't very nice <laughs> in this situation with you and this person, and I feel like you guys both regret it, but no one is making a move to fix it. Okay, it's definitely an energy where there was a lot of hurt and a lot of grief in this situation, and something that put you in a place of stagnancy and not being able to kind of move forward. But someone needs to talk about it in order for you guys to get past it okay there needs to be some sort of conversation here because i feel like there was a struggle in being able to communicate clearly and effectively for majority of y'all you know because i feel like if both of you um get out of a place of being prideful could be dealing with the leo here um if you get out of this place of being prideful and just you know come in and discuss in the sense of i want to fix this you'll have a good outcome okay like stop acting like y'all are on separate teams y'all are on the same fucking team all right let's see what messages we have here for you thank you spirit for clean concise messages please be sure to like share comment and subscribe you guys it really does help me out all right things are not as they appear the lower the price of your love the higher its value brain freeze okay so, I, and then we got forgive here. So, I feel like this is definitely a situation where y'all need to talk in order for y'all to really come together and be able to fix this situation, okay? Um, let's see what signs you guys are dealing with. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, and I'm leaving that, too. All right. Let's see. Thank you. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you so much. We got Libra. Got Pisces, got Virgo, and then we got Leo. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I see you in the next one. Bye.